Yes, it is more relevant to the choice of servers and that was a quick intro. Well, I don't think we really need to watch all this. No, let us not do that. We shall pick a character type. Jeez. I think it's basically that stuntman has strength, computer pro program intelligence, knife thrower dexterity, private eye is balanced. So yes. So backstory: Elvira has her own film studio, and a Cerberus or something has imprisoned her in there, and we are off to save her. Mm, this this game has well, polished the, especially the RPG aspect a fair bit. As you can see, we have. Over here, for instance, locational health. Mm. Ah, and the bottom left here is a motion detector. Let's see. Is there no? Hmm. It seems to be keyboard shortcuts for the moment. Okay. Hmm. Well, here is our first problem. Security. Well, presumably we can go find the way to open it in here. Unfortunately, it is locked. But we find the solution to that right here. Still as awkward as it used to be. Let's see. Anything in the wallet? Well, might as well take a look at all the inventory items we have. We have a small knife, we have a pen knife, but we can only use the small knife as a weapon. Alright, already took a look at the spell book and the amulet. Keys. Pen. Use chewing gum, the crucifix, well, that's. Um. Yes. Yep, we can throw the rock, well, we can throw it through here. But. We can instead. throw it through here. And thus we gain entrance. Oh. Hello? Hmm. And switch shall become clear soon, I hope. Actually, let's take a look. For you see, we have spells we can cast. Well, first we have 
to mix them. Oh. There are... Uh, no, this doesn't require any ingredients, so let's just get that done. And then we can cast that, but we need to just do that right now. Uh, holy water... Mirror and a file... Fireball, combustible substances, for which paper works quite handily. Here is a demonstration. No, or not. spell ingredients are, and I mean for instance luck, something associated with good fortune, I mean through the game we'll find uh, something in the shape of a four-leaf clover and a, a horseshoe and other stuff like that. Those can all be used for the luck spell. Unfortunately that one uh, spell which requires a file you do find both the uh, keeping documents kind of file and the kind of file you use to shape and rub things. Uh, sadly, sadly, only one of those is accepted. This excellent. And also, we are not limited by our. I have our healing ability. There is a he basic healing spell which requires no ingredients. Also, <coughs> now let's see. This for instance. Casting spells will get you experience. And now we are already at level 2. I figured I'd cast some stuff to see. Just to get some experience since these PP powerpoints I think will return with time. And we are not going to do any need to do any casting or combat in for a while. Hello, my good sir. Mm. Oh. Our ghost night watch. Um, oh, uh -huh. I'll just take this. And also, let's take these. This game is well. You gain, you find less in the way of heavy duty armor, which makes sense. But this should offer at least some protection. Filing cabinet and ooh. Ah. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. One way security window. Um, 
you know when it is dark outside and light inside. That would mean that people can see you in, but you can't see out. So, uh, anyway, here we stick the key. And we have a copy protection, which I can just ignore for reasons I shall not specify. Hmm. Also, it's, I would say it's best not to go mixing spells at the first Opportunity since well, let's take a look. Oh, that's a fair bit of statistics having gone up. I would say you shouldn't uh, mix spells at the first opportunity since how many uh, spells you get is, I believe, is dependent on your intelligence. Hmm. PR statistic. I'm sure the manual gives a sensible explanation for all of this. I mean, I think weapon skill is... Uh, WS is weapon skill, WP is weapon power, MR... Uh -huh. Hmm... Anyway, maybe MR is something like magic rating. Let's see, weapon power... Hmm... I wonder... Right, right. I'll just have to <coughs> see if that changes one side. Another weapon. And here we have a car. The only car in the whole park, it seems like. Let's see... Ah. Uh huh. Well, that seems odd, but hey, a wrench and wire cutters. Any? I'm just on anything fork shaped. <coughs> me. I mean, <laughs> it, uh, the wrench counts as a fork shape, and we later find actual forks, which also count as being fork shaped. Amazing, I know. So we can get out of there, and now let's just head right into the studio itself. Studios. Uh, 
Actually, I'll just rush back and forth a bit since every time you step onto a new square, you get a bit of experience. Also, you are limited in your carrying capacity. This is a good spot to leave stuff you don't need, so I'll just leave these papers. Something. Uh, I'm 
Oh, I actually did already reach level 3. And I have never tried it myself, but I have read that if you insult the guy, he'll just shut up and you... then... well, be insulted, and... you won't get more help from him, and you do need his help to finish the game, so... Hmm... So we need to find three magic items.
17. Something that stores information. 
animation, which the video disc, the game only accepts the computer disc as a special ingredient for that, and not say a notebook. Just a book. I mean, a book is information storage, right? zero, you die. But next time let's try to do this with more success. 